Hey my YouTube friends, what's going on? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. Today's video I think is gonna be really helpful. It's gonna sound really easy, so I want you to stop and think about it and digest it, comment below with your thoughts, like the video, and subscribe to the channel, and then watch it again, okay? Because like this really, really matters. This is super important. And it's pretty straightforward, but it's gonna move the needle significantly. So we've all heard the saying that actions speak louder than words. And that makes a lot of sense, right? Like I can say, I want to scale my Airbnb business and I want to have 10 places and I want to do this. And then there's always like that reason why, but I don't have enough money or um, it's not allowed in my locality. Like I can't do this legally here. And so people say all these great words. I see them on the Facebook group. We see them in the comments below. We see them everywhere. We hear them everywhere. I want to do this. And then there's usually a but. But here's the real deal. This is the stuff that's going to make a huge difference. What dictates your actions? Like, what actions do you take? We all have a certain number of hours in the day that we can be active. So what do we do? How do we fill our day? Well, here's the beauty. Your priorities dictate your actions, right? So actions mean more than words, and your priorities dictate your actions. So let's focus on your priorities. Like, what are your priorities? In other words, why can't you get to the action and why can't you fulfill your words? And therein, there's usually that, like, I'm scared. I'm outside my comfort zone. I don't think I can manage something remotely. I don't have enough time. There's something there. There's something in that, like, prioritization that is making you do something else. Generally speaking, people do the things that they're comfortable with. So let's use a real life example. I get all these messages on Facebook and via email about people who have these great ambitions and desires and they wanna grow their businesses and they wanna grow and have 100 units or whatever their goals are. And then we start drilling down and say, okay, well, how, how are we gonna do that? What are we gonna, what steps are we gonna take? What actions are we gonna take? And then they've got the action plan too. Well, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do this. And then I say, okay, well, how are we doing that like today? What, what, what prioritization, how much time have you scheduled to start on that? And that's usually where we don't get off the starting blocks. Like at that point, talk is cheap, I've got my action plan, but I'm not doing anything to activate that action plan. And so what I want you to start to think about where the breakthrough becomes is what are your priorities? And your priorities might be comfort, safety, W2 job, family, health, and those are all fine, but those are not aligned with what you say you wanna do. And so we need to bring them into alignment. And the best way I can suggest that you do that is to go through this exercise where you think about what are your words? What actions do you need to take to fulfill those words? What are your current priorities? Like, where are you spending your time? What are you doing? What are you satisfying? And why isn't there room left for you and your goals? Like, what priorities do we need to shift? What do we need to eliminate? What do we need to now stress so that you can go for what you've stated is your goal and your desire and your ambition? So I'm just trying to give you guys some thoughts about all the things that I'm hearing from great entrepreneurs who want to scale, who want to grow, who want to get started in Airbnb and tell me they have this great action plan and then they have these self-limiting beliefs that keep them playing small. And what I want you to do is to start talking about the new story, right? Like that playing small is the old story. That was you before you were an entrepreneur. That's the way you used to think. You used to have those limitations on those um, reasons that you couldn't get started. But now in the new story, the new entrepreneurial you, the new lens, remember these lenses? The new entrepreneurial lenses that you put on, you understand that there's some self-limiting beliefs that you need to break through, that you need to overcome, and you might need to change your priorities around a little bit. Take a look at what it is that you're doing currently, what your priorities are today, what we can eliminate. What was a priority of yesterday that's no longer a priority of today, underscore outline what today's priorities are to allow you time, freedom, creativity, energy, breakthrough, so that you go partner with people and get the capital that you need, so that you get comfortable running places remotely, so that you get comfortable taking some of these risks that have held you back, so that you can achieve through actions, your desired outcome, your words. So in a nutshell, actions speak louder than words, and your priorities dictate your actions. Simple as that. Focus on that, comment below, what have you thought about through this video, what priorities have you like reclaimed for yourself, 
What have you shed? What are you doing to make your priorities aligned with your activities and actions to satisfy your stated goals? I really appreciate this. I hope you found this helpful. It's a new way of thinking for some of you, but I think you'll find unbelievable reward and growth opportunities in your new story. This guy, I believe in you. I know you can do it. I want to help. Comment below. Email me. Anything I can do to help you move forward, consider it done, my friends. In any event, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below and subscribe to the channel, yo. We're just getting started. And now, entrepreneur lenses are off, and my priority is to chill with my daughter. <laughs>